What's up guys, Coach Chris here with a short little video here, uh, building your right nutrition plan and how to make it work for you. So a lot of people are always wondering what should they be doing with the nutrition, right? And even through our nutritional coaching, right, we always find that the easiest plan, like we build really simple plans for people and we find that most people have trouble sticking to these plans because they want to go at 100 miles per hour. But really it's about kind of going a little bit slower, doing the speed limit, and knowing yourself, knowing what you're capable of doing it and making it a habit. So I'm not really big on like big programs like carb cycling and macronutrient timing and all this stuff. I really like try to keep it basic for people so that they can just understand that it's just about building good habits and eating right. All right, so the first four things that I want people to focus on when doing this, all right, and I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Three things, or four things, sorry. So the first one is gonna be water. All right, so drinking more water each day. All right, and a lot of people are just extremely dehydrated. So a good key that I like them to focus on, right? All right, is half your body weight in ounces. So, you know, if you're 160 pounds, you should be drinking at least 80 ounces of water. All right, and the thing is that a lot of people will go, of course, well, isn't that too much water? And I can't drink that much water, right? Most people are not even coming close to that on a regular day. Um, and most athletes, if you're active a lot, if you're working out and you're training a lot or you're playing a sport, you're gonna need way more than that. So this is a good starting point is to shoot for half your body weight in water, all right? That's gonna at least get the ball rolling. The second one, all right, most important is fats, all right? Now everybody's afraid of fats, all right, because the theory is if you eat fat, you'll get fat, but it's all about the right fats. All right, so omega threes, sixes, nines, your avocados, your olive oil, your coconut oil, your saturated fat, grass-fed stuff like your grass-fed beef, wild-cut salmon, things like that, taking krill oil, fish oils. Uh, these are a good way to get these in, eating nuts, different variety of nuts, different, making your own trail mix instead of going to like the Wawa and getting like a, the shitty bag. I mean. I do that sometimes too, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you're not doing any and you wanna start, then start at Wawa, but you can then even move up and start getting more healthier brands from like a, a Wegmans or a healthy, um, what's the other one? Whole Foods, doesn't even matter, who cares? Right, I'm not here to promote other supermarkets, but you get where we're going with that. All right, so water, fats, omegas, three, six, nines, right, so that's gonna be your saturated, uh, your good saturated fats is going to be your monounsaturated, your polyunsaturated fats. It's going to be really, really important for you to get in. And I actually have a video, so if you're good, I'll send that to you. All right. So the next one would be then protein. All right. And you know sometimes the fats and the proteins kind of intertwine together. So for this one, right, women, I want you to have one palm of protein at every single serving. All right, men two palms at every single serving, right? So that's really, really easy. I'll literally like cook dinner, take the spatula and hold it up to my hand to see how much meat is on there. And that's how I'm able to then figure out my portions to make sure I'm eating the right portions, getting enough protein. So you wanna be eating a meal every three, you know, three to four times a day. Like a lot of people are like, oh, you should eat six. Oh, you should eat two. Oh, you should eat 10, right? Really, the good range is gonna be like your normal. Like what's normal? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? and then maybe having some stuff in between, like some fruit and nuts and stuff like that, yeah, that seems pretty normal to me too. So three to four meals a day and having uh, the right sizes of protein at every single meal. Like don't make the mistake of having like a meal is like a shake and you count that shit. Like that's terrible. It's not a meal, all right? Sorry if you're doing that, but really, come on. You're gonna make me pissed. All right, so, all right, so we're going with women, one palm of protein. Guys, two palms of protein. All right, and then the last one, Right, last but not least, we're gonna just gonna go here, we're gonna keep it short. Veggies, all right, veggies. So, your oranges, your reds, your yellow, right? Your purple, I don't even know if they make purple. Yeah, they got grapefruit, right? Or not grapefruit, the, uh, what's the other one? Uh, eggplant, eggplant, eggplant is purple. So, right, you get where I'm going? Rainbow, all right, every meal. Every single meal, you should be having Women, one fist. Women, men, you should be having two fists. And the beauty is, when you're doing this, 
this is going to then kind of meet up with this guy because you want to cook your vegetables lightly cooked. Don't cook all the nutrients out of them and if you go raw it's even better. All right? But you want to cook them in things like coconut oil, all right? olive oil. Don't want to cook that on high heat. You want to keep that at low to medium. All right? And Coach Courtney is going to come out to you because she's staring at me right now after I just said that. She's like, hey. All right? So <laughs> you want to make sure you're cooking them in uh, good oils, right? healthy oils, low heat. Uh, don't cook out the nutrients. All right? So hopefully you had a pen and a paper out because this is about to go bye-bye. All right? Because now we're uh, – doesn't want to erase. Now, we're moving on. So everyone out there in Facebook and YouTube just saw me struggle to erase that off the board, right? All right, so the next one is eat to your body type. Okay, so eating to your body type, really, really simple, guys. Most people are gonna fall, if you're, all right, so if you're a hard gainer, if it's hard for you to put on weight, if you're looking to put on muscle, carbs, every meal. These are minimally processed guys. Minimally processed carbs, brown rice, quinoa, amaranth, things like that, multi-grains, right? You want to make sure you're doing carbs every single meal and that really is called an ectomorph. It's hard for you to put on weight. So if you're a mesomorph, more of an athletic person, your body changes pretty frequently, it's easy for you to put on muscle, it's easy for you to lose fat, right? You're going to then do carbs you know, kind of around your workout, but then you can also have some in the morning, right? So you can have carbs at breakfast, all right? Carbs at breakfast, and around your workouts. Now, if you're like most, if you're like the majority of people that struggle to lose weight, like it's really, really a challenge, and you know, it. it you just haven't seen the results that you've been looking for, so chances are you've probably been messing up here because you might be eating carbs throughout the day and carbs are not your friend if you are having a little struggle to lose your weight. So easy way to lose a couple pounds, and you can try this right now, cut your carbs out, all right? But you want to be having carbs only, big one here, around And if you're going to do that, handful. All right, so one handful around your workout time. That's the most simple thing that you can do. I hope this video helps. It's a, we would like to keep it basic here. So first step is do the first four. Make sure you got them down. Then move on to, to your body type. So if you're in trouble losing weight, only around your workouts. And if you're like me and you have to eat a whole bunch of carbs just to put on a little muscle, then I feel bad for you because it's really hard to eat a lot of potatoes and rice. So catch you guys on the next video. Thank you for checking it out. See you later.